The boomer economy is utterly over. If you're living your life as if you're going to live like a boomer, it, I, I hate to break it to you, it's not going to work out. Now, what do I mean by that? Boomer, the boomer economy is basically the idea that you can go to school, you can go to college, and then you become an employee at some kind of company. And you work there for 20, 30, 40 years. Maybe you switch companies, but you ultimately are a company man. You're in the system. You're making enough money to have a family. And you go on and do whatever you want in your free time. And that's it. That's life. That's all you need to do. Now, the issue with that, well, a lot of people think this is how the world, I mean, that might, that might strike you as, well, isn't that just how the world is? Uh, what are you talking about? No, it isn't. It, in fact, it's never, if you look at the world before boomers, okay, before the boomer bubble, that happened after the Second World War. Uh, life was totally different because, you know, what often happened is that people, sometimes they had generational businesses. You might be, uh, you, I don't know, maybe you have some kind of skill, you're a carpenter, you're a cobbler, you're a cobbler, that's, that's a very old you know, position, but electrician, plumber, something like this. You had family skills, you'd teach your, ki uh, your kids your skills, and they would usually follow in your footsteps, do whatever they want, okay? We're actually told nowadays that that's something we should be afraid. Oh, I don't get a choice in that. That's no fun. But the reality is the boomer economy is infinitely worse for your freedom. It, it might look like you're making more money on paper, but usually you aren't anyway. And what I mean by the boomer economy, the boomer economy is this idea that the goal of gainful, uh, 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 a fulfilled life is to be an employee, okay? Most people in most times have never been employees. They've never been wage cucks. They've never been salary cucks. They have been effectively self-employed. That isn't just because people were, you know, farmers and stuff like that. There were many farmers. There were many people who grew food for themselves, didn't even have to rely on the system for that. But most people before the boomer economy, they had skills that were independent of the system, right? They didn't necessarily, you know, if you can build stuff out of wood, you know, that's something you could sell on the market, but that's also something that's useful for, for you, okay? And that's how a lot of people were before the boomer economy. Now, the boomer economy is ultimately the idea that success means success within the system. Success within, you know, you, you got to work for, you have to work for this company, right? One of these many companies. Um, and of course, there are benefits to that. You might have a lot more money on paper, but ultimately you are deprived you're deprived of a kind of a freedom, um, but you're also sort of invested. Yeah, like you lose the ability, you lose those skills, those crafts that you would otherwise have. Now, the fact of the matter is the boomer economy just isn't sustainable in the first place, okay? So, you know, people nowadays, you know, when I graduated from uh, college, right, I, I graduated with a degree in economics, and uh, I ended up going to graduate school, uh, which sounds like a bad financial decision, but a lot of the people who graduated my, in my class they ended up even worse, you know, they, um, they would like end up running a Twitter feed for like some NGO or they'd be working as unpaid interns for years because there are just so many people who go through, you know, want to do the boomer rigmarole of let's just get education for some reason and then I'll just magically get a job. Um, even in something like economics, you would think that that would be, oh, there'd be a lot of people who get good jobs with that. Eh, not really. Um, there were some, I'm not, I'm not discounting, I'm sure there are many of you who got gainful employment afterwards, but the idea that everyone can run through the system uh, is totally nonsense. And especially, you know, this system is ultimately depriving people of independence, not just in financial independence, but they're making, you know, now we have, you know, many people who just don't have traditional skills. They can't, you know, they, they have to buy everything, you know, you know what I mean? Um, now, nowadays, this is already starting to reverse. This is just, I mean, I'm not just talking about people moving into the country or, you know, because they, they think it's cool on the internet. But I mean, um, uh, let, let's say something like software design, uh, you know, some stuff that we talk, on this talk about on this channel. Um, software is a good example of one of those skills that people are now starting to have independent of the system. You know, it's a, you can make your own way. You can write your own programs. You can sell your own stuff. You could, you know, have your own, you know, I guess, technological services. It's nothing so difficult. You could, you could start your own blockchain something or other and get, you know, make millions or something like that. That's actually something that a lot of people can do now. Um, and it, it's kind of a necessity because, again, this, this idea that everyone should be an employee is like less and less sustainable with every passing year. The bubble is like gradually deflating. Um, so that's, that's definitely my mindset. Now, I bring this all up because when people ask me things, if I, you know, recently I did videos telling people you should move into the country, it'll be better for you. A lot of people would say things like, well, what if I move to a place where there are no good companies, dude? Oh, no, how am I going to get a job? And that is like the exact opposite mindset you need to have because 
when you're when you move out into a place where there, you know, some kind of company is not providing some service, well, that is more entrepreneurship opportunity. Well, like, why would you want to move to a place where there are massive multinational corporations that you have to compete against? You either get some wage cut job with them, or you know, you you just well, that's really your only choice. In reality, if you move to a place where uh, I, I guess if you're a bigger fish in a smaller pond, that's a good thing, you know? So a lot of people will be like, or here, here's another thing people get. I looked online for ways to make money, on, you know, online, and I couldn't find any. As, as if, like, you're just supposed to... This, this is the mindset that drives me nuts. Like, the idea that, um, uh, like, the answer to being personally independent is just, like, a list of things that I have to follow, mechanically follow, as if I'm some, some kind of employee, as if I'm some kind of wage cook. In reality... You know, being a, an adult in the olden days, being an adult just meant making your own way. That's not like a meme. That's not like, oh, I'm going to retire at 30. That's not like some magical thing that, you know, people on Instagram do. It's something that everyone did. And the boomer, econ the boomer economy has gotten it to the point where people just don't have that mindset anymore. They're like, oh, no, I don't need to make it in the world. I need, to, I need this company to help me make it in the world. I need them to pay me. I need them to tell me what to do. Otherwise, I'm just not going to figure things out. It's just like a really immature way of looking at things. Um, so that's my recommendation. You know, I... Um, being an employee is no fun. Like there are a lot of people who are like, oh, I, 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 I don't know. I just pity people who are constantly thinking about putting things on their resume. Like, you know, it's just uh, you don't need to live in that life. I think my recommendation to the, that I give to people, I mean, even when I was a kid, I'm not saying that I had everything figured out as a kid, but I will say this, you know, I definitely had the mindset that um, or the idea that, you know, my generation was not going to be as easy as it was for boomers or, you know, there are so many things like the world is too big, too complicated. Um, it's not going to be as easy as just finding a random job. So when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, one thing that I tried to do, I didn't necessarily even try to make money, but I tried to think in terms of, okay, what can I learn that I can never lose? Because you can lose money, but you can't necessarily learn or lose skills. So even if I learned stuff, you know, when I was a teenager, you know, I taught myself Latin, classical languages and stuff like that. And that actually, that, that hasn't been hugely economically beneficial, but it's one of those things. It, it's opened up weird opportunities in my life. And of course, that's actually a very abstract example, but there are many more skills you can teach yourself now um, that are going to put you in a better, better position. And that's, that's my way of looking at it. You, you learn woodwork, you can go pretty far on that. Um, so what I'm trying to say is, yeah, this, you gotta, you gotta, I don't know, you gotta live your own life. You, like, you cannot ask me uh, to tell you, or anyone else, or any kind of company to tell you how to make money. If you're in that mindset, you're doing it the wrong way. It's not, this is not like something for hyper alpha go-getters. This is something that, like, everyone should be able to do. Like, you should be able to, we have to get people less domesticated. They have to start thinking about this for themselves. Like, that, so this is, hopefully this has been some kind of wake up call. Just don't be an employee. Don't be a wage cook.